Truck Simulator 2 with me, Stocker Gloss. How are ya? Okay, we've got our Volvo FH16 with red wheels and beacons. Uh, we're going to, um, yeah, on our last episode, we've done quite well, I thought. We, we managed to uh, buy ourselves another garage, um, get ourselves a driver and another truck, and we still done a delivery. Uh, how was all that in one episode? Amazing. Right, uh, we are right in the top, yeah, Alston. Fancy doing a bit of a trek today. I want to get as much money as we can, so... Ooh, Manchester. We've been to Manchester, though. Is there anywhere in the UK that I haven't been? Uh, Cambridge and Felixstowe. Yeah. Cambridge and Felixstowe are the only places I haven't been. Oh, hang on. And Swansea. Uh, oh, Felixstowe. There we go. That, uh, that's too good to be true, isn't it? That's 40 grand. That's, that's beautiful. So let's, uh, let's do that one. Drive. Loading screen. Okay. We, uh, we had a few crashes, didn't we, in the last episode, if I can remember. Oh, you are a gentleman, thank you. And you're in a red car. I'm amazed. Absolutely amazed. I expected you to uh, sort of flash your lights, wave me through, and then plow into the side of my uh, truck. <laughs> right, looks like we're going in here. Oh, there's another truck in here as well. We're fighting for the same business, are we? Enter. Uh, man. Oh, um, that might be the trucks that we're actually picking up. <laughs> Let's take the job. Where are they? Uh, are they around the corner? Ooh, there they are. Taking some man trucks to Felixstowe. for trailer. Okay, let's have a check out our load. Oh, it's all strapped down. That's very nice. It's all nice and safe. Oversized load and a beacon. Yeah. Let's turn that beacon off. It's annoying. Brilliant. So we've got a truck carrying two trucks. Love it. Let's get back inside before we get electrocuted. Okay. Peugeot 306 or 309 or something there. Okay, I've got my load. Don't worry, it'll be done. Might not be in one piece, but it will be done. We're going for it. We're going. We're going for it. Getting this outside lane. Hopefully, now these drivers are going to start making me a lot of money. That's what I want. You know, investing all this money in the drivers and the truck. I think I might put the. Um, yeah, I might keep this up because it tells me how much money my drivers are making me as I drive along. Right, got a bit of an announcement to make. Now we're uh, we're on our way. My, I don't know if you guys watch my uh, farming simulator series. It's basically me playing farming simulator. Whoa! Oh, the side of the, oh gosh! 
Did they just crash? They did, didn't they? Go. Well, this will be fun turning left with that car stuck out in the middle of the road. Already touched him. <laughs> yes, so my farming simulator series. Um, we are going to be doing, when I say we, I mean the Tebby Bear group. This is me, Der Tebbers, Das Tebbers, and Fadman. We're going to be uh, doing a Christmas multiplayer live stream for 24 hours. Yeah, you heard me. We are going to be playing Farming Simulator for 24 hours non stop. I'm going to try and last the whole 24 hours, but, um, yeah, <laughs> things might change. Uh, I might only, let, basically, uh, the first stint is going to be sort of me doing the six hours uh, on the live stream, and then Dur's going to swap over to his channel and do the, the, the last six hours on his live stream, so, uh, on his channel. Uh, we're doing it for charity, we're, we're going to be, um, uh, hopefully, Asking people to donate their time or their money, um, you know, to help him people out with the over the holidays with food and things. It's a sad time of year, you know. People can't afford to put uh, food on their table, so we just want to help people out here, you know, in in the UK and uh, and abroad. So we try and uh, we'll have more details on the uh, on the forum. So if you go to www.stockagross.com. Uh, there'll be some information there for you and uh, if you want to join and uh, play Farming Simulator with me and Durr and the, and the gang then um, yeah all the information will be on the forums so if I can ask you not to put comments or questions about it in this video uh, go over to the forums and put it there it's, it's free to sign up in the forums it takes two minutes and uh, yeah there's a, there's a password saying uh, to stop spammers getting on the forum but uh, if you get stuck on that one it's just type in home for the beacons That's, uh, it will all make sense when you get onto the forum so so please do get on over there after this video sign up put your name down for the multiplayer live stream and then you'll be you'll be in touch you know we'll get in touch with you and give you the IP addresses and, and your time slot and all that jazz as and when so so yes, it'll be the 7th or the 14th of December. We haven't quite worked out the dates yet. That still might change. But it's definitely going to happen. We're going to have a, a live stream, 24-hour live stream this this year. Well, next month in December. So, yeah. Get on over to the forums. Plug over. Although I probably will mention it again. Oh, we're going past Poznan. We've been to Poznan before, I think. Um, the traffic's really slow today. You got plenty of fuel. We're okay on fuel. Oh, fuel and maintenance costs are 115. I missed that. No, nope. co op, you can wait. Because you're red. You all know what the red AI. Oh, although that, that red AI did let me out. I, I should have maybe let him out. It only slow us down. I'm trying to look at the beautiful scenery in Poland. Poznan, straight on. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see that? So I think um, the SES are really working on the on the sound quality of the game. Um, they're. Uh, Kind of start. I think they're going to be um, recording a lot of the sounds of the trucks as it's going along, you know, so we can hear it. As much as it's uh, quite um, uh, awesome to hear the sounds we got at the moment, but um, I think they're going to try and make it even better. So, because I know there's uh, something on their blog that I think I mentioned in the last video of them smashing cars up. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think they're going to keep improving the sound because I, I think the immersion, the immersion in the game, I think it really does help with the sound. Um, it just makes it more more realistic if you've got realistic sounds, and what it actually sounds like driving a truck. So I don't know about most of you peeps. I, I've never driven a truck before, but uh, 
<laughs> from my driving, you, you guys can see why. <laughs> Look at ever allowed me in a truck. Oh. Turning left, right here. Oh, I can't stop traffic. Wide, follow that white line. Oh no, we still hit the corner. Oh, darn it! You think I'll get used to having a trailer on the back of my truck, man? Eh, wouldn't you? <laughs> miles I've done, thirty-four thousand miles just in this truck alone. Wow! No, not thirty-four thousand. Sorry, three thousand four hundred and fifteen. Come on! That looks awesome, doesn't it? Ooh. I can't wait for the Oculus Rift. I know I keep mentioning it, but after seeing it, it's so hard not to imagine yourself playing with the Oculus Rift. Where well, you can just literally just look over your shoulder. Oh, perfect. It's 70 along here. Come on, you're only going 30 miles an hour, 25 miles an hour. There we go, speed up. Give some billy boots. There we go. Nice and smooth. Just touch the brakes going down. I think that's probably the worst time you can jackknife, isn't it? The easiest time to jackknife is when you're going downhill, round a corner. You know, that's got to be your worst nightmare as a truck driver, isn't it? Going uphill, it's quite controlled, you're slow, you know. Going down here, we got all that weight. Oh, I'm yawning already. Excuse me. It's not even late. You know, it's like midday, I think. <laughs> I had a bit of a lion. They do say that the more sleep you have, the tired you are. Well, actually, trying to sleep with my dog, not sleep with my dog, but trying to sleep and have my dog bark at 3 o'clock in the morning like she's been doing lately. It's, it, I've forgotten what it's like to have a decent night's sleep. Honestly, it's like having a baby in the house. It really is. You know, the wife turns to me about your turn to get up. Oh, really? I'll just put the dog down for a feed. Oh, uh, it, it's just wrong, isn't it? A dog, it's a dog. You sleep in a basket, you shut up when I tell you to shut up, you sit when I tell you to sit. <sighs> yeah, that car in front had the right idea, this car's taking the mick. How slow he's going. And wait. Oh, what's this sign? Poznan and Gdan Gdansk. Oh, brilliant. Fantastic. They're both off to Gdansk. There we go. We're on the road again. Nice country roads in front of us. We know she got on the motorway though. Yeah, nice corner. A bit wary about corners in this game. Just need to uh, just be a bit smooth on the controls, I think. And it helps with the corner in. Oh, I was actually thinking about getting the G27 uh, steering wheel for this game. Because of the pedals and everything else, the, the shift gear, you know, the gear stick. and Yeah, I might treat myself over the Christmas period. But I don't know, I'm saving up to go to PAX next year, so I'm trying not to spend any money. If I can help it. <laughs> um, yeah, I booked the hotel for PAX this week. Um, I'll be paying for the flights next week. Um, yeah, I'll be going. Really looking forward to it.
I think the tickets sold out within like minutes. I think they could probably sell that place twice over uh, quite easily. It's quite a sought after place to be during the uh, you know if you're into gaming then uh, definitely PAX East is the one to go to. So I've done Eurogamer uh, we're going to do PAX East next year and uh, towards the end of next year I'm going to try and do Gamescon as well in Germany. I have to brush up on my Sprechen de Deutsch. Um, well, I'm quite lucky, really, because uh, I think Fad is fluent in in, in the Deutschland, um, and so is uh, so is Dürer. So they could be my uh, translators for the uh, for the day. I did do German at school, but. I've done French as well, I've done French and German. Well, when I say I've done German and French at school, I did, but only to year nine, which is like uh, halfway through the year. And then uh, you get to choose your your subjects that you want to do, and um, I didn't choose French or German. Uh, I think I was that, you know, at the age where I think, well, everybody should speak English. <laughs> Why do I need to learn a different language? Oh, how I regret that now. Um, yeah, so... My, my my German's terrible. My French is even worse. <sighs> Excuse me, that's not the <laughs> that's not the game yawning. That was me. <laughs> I don't need to stop yet just yet. Wow, I don't know why I yawn. <sighs> what was John Deere working in the fields? And a John Deere just watching. <laughs> is he actually moving? He is, isn't he? Ah, cool. I love my farming equipment, as you guys probably already know. Yeah, we got a bit of money, 35 grand, that's, that's, that's awesome. Uh, I didn't think we'd have that much left over after uh, buying a garage and hiring something as well. So hopefully this uh, this episode we should see a good payday, you know, if four of them get paid then uh, you know, we should be making some good money. Uh, we can retire at a nice early age. <laughs> I don't think I could ever retire playing this game. It's like a part, you know. It's like part of my my gaming schedule. You know, it's like Farming Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator 2. That's a must. It's a, it's a given. I'm definitely going to be recording these no matter what. I, I look forward to it. Um, I suppose in some respects, obviously Minecraft as well. So those three are, are like definites. Um, and then it's uh, the other games as and when I feel to. Air Hauler, yes, I'm going to be uh, getting back into that series. You've seen my last attempt at um, see my last attempt at flying a plane. So uh, obviously I need a bit more training before I can uh, run my own air hauling company. <coughs> Crash vehicle? Uh, where have I crashed? What? I never crashed. Unless I just clipped him. Go around that corner, I might have just clipped him with the trailer. Oh. It wasn't a proper crash. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a proper crash. Oh, I love this game. Yeah, um, I've been uh, getting a lot of comments as well about uh, maybe downloading a new mod map for this, a Scandinavian map. Why is it Pro Mod? Um, I might have got that wrong, but I've got it written down somewhere. Uh, I might have a look at that for the next episode. Let me know your your thoughts on that in the, in the comments. Um, I haven't downloaded any new mods or anything. If there's anything there, you know, sort of sticking out in your minds that you think would be a good addition to the uh, to the series, then send me a PM, a private message on uh, on YouTube. See if you guys can figure out how to do it with this Google Plus taking over the world. Like, 
what was happening with the comments, I was getting a, a comment from YouTube, like every time somebody leaves a comment on any of my videos, I get an email and at, at the end of the day, I normally, you know, either live in bed or just chilling out. I, I, I go through all the comments and read all the comments. I, when I said to people, I read every comment, I really, really do read every single comment. Now, with this Google Plus thing, it, it, it's gone, why have I slowed right down? It's because I'm talking. I can't do two things at once. <laughs> and for a Let's Player, that's a... This should be a given. Yeah, that, that should be the very least you can do is play a game and talk. <laughs> I can't do it. Um, so, yeah, so this Google Plus thing, it just looks a bit weird because you... Um, but when the email comes through, it, come, it comes through... And I, I can't read the comments without clicking on to my Google Plus thing. So on my phone, where I was just reading the comments um, it's a right pain so I have to click into the Google Plus bit and try and read the comment it might not seem like a lot but it was more of a pain than it is now I don't understand Google Plus as as of yet I don't I, you know I think what they're trying to do is make it a new social medium so like um, is, like Facebook you can put comments on there and videos and, and, and pictures and things like that uh, a, a Twitter function so you can like let everybody know you know what you're up to I don't think it's taken off as much it, it, it might do you know people might be really um, using Google Plus a lot but uh, I haven't started to just yet I need to get my head around it and another thing as well I don't know what you guys think about it but you know Twitch TV uh, when we do some live streams and stuff Oh, income. Maximilian, first grand for the company. Thank you very much. Uh, when you um, when you live stream on Twitch, uh, I've had some pro I've had some comments where people have been watching my my live stream, saying I can't watch it on my iPad or can't watch it on my phone or any mobile devices. Now I got in touch with Twitch, and basically Twitch said that only the seven, the top 750 broadcasters are able to um, stream live to mobile devices so well that's kind of screwed you up really because all the channels and, and everything that's on Twitch you know I, I don't think I'll ever be in the top 750 um, and people obviously about the lag and stuff I've got a fairly good internet connection here you know I've, I've, whoa, slow down, slow down. I've got a fairly good internet connection here so I should not have any problem streaming um, and I don't have any problem streaming but some people have uh, problems because I can't change the how can I word this because there's not an option for you guys to change the quality of the, st of the stream you know some big streamers that partners they've got uh, twitch partners they can choose between high medium and low um, because I haven't got that option, I try to stream as high quality as I can, but what it does, it causes problems with people that can't watch it, and it turns out quite laggy. Now, that isn't laggy on my end, and that isn't laggy on maybe your end, but the bandwidth that's allowed from Twitch TV down to your computer, or your, um, well, it have to be computer, because I can't do mobile devices, but it restricts it, so that's what causes the lag. Now, don't worry, I'm not just ranting about uh, Twitch, uh, there, is, there is a reason why I'm, I'm talking about all this. Google Plus have got something called a Google Hangout, haven't they? Which, oh my god, uh, no. Uh, yeah, they got this thing called Google Hangout, and it's like a live stream. Um, well, no, no, it's not. It's, it, you can live stream games on it, and I've seen some games on there, and they've been some really good quality. Uh, it seems a really, really good, good way of streaming games. Now. I don't see the benefit of using Twitch over Google Hangouts or Google Games, you know, Google Live Streaming. Because when you have an option to turn the quality to low from low, medium and high to however you want to do it. So if you're lagging on high quality, just, just drop it down a notch and it'll be fine. And I can keep my stream at a high quality as possible. Um, yeah. Uh, also you'll be able to watch it on um, mobile devices so 
I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that. I but I haven't. I'm only going by what I've seen on Google uh, Hangouts. I, I, I've got no um, no data to back this up. I'm only going from what I can see. So let me know what your thoughts are, and if you've if you've done a stream on on Google and or you've watched a few streams and it is you can see it on your mobile devices or what, whatever. So because that might be a way forward. Is that you know I just do all my live streaming on Twitch uh, on. Um, Google Plus. Come on now, let's get together and burn.